And you might need to go into something called uh, military law yes. um, uh, or martial law, I think is another word you use there. Martial law. Um, effectively, the whole, a lot of countries are already running that way, but you just don't see it because, again, you have this, this facade going on that you still have governments. But in the background, you're, all the world is really under military law right now. And then when everything's ready to switch to these devolved set settings, then obviously all those layers will go and you'll all be ready to start doing your voting and you'll have all these lovely ambassadors set up and ready to go. Well, and what we're seeing at the moment is the kind of introduction of people like Elon Musk coming into what is essentially government roles. Yes, yes. So, like a year ago or longer, I said that Elon Musk would have a presidential role. I didn't say he'd be president. I said he'd have a presidential role. And everybody said to me I was crazy and he's not <laughs> even American and he couldn't do this and that. And now, of course, it's just been announced that he's going to, uh, if, if Trump, um, and obviously Trump will be in the front at some point, but... He's yeah. going to be head of Department of Government Efficiency. And as we've been starting to see now, they're working closely together, Trump yes. and Musk. They're also setting up the financial system for America in the background with X.com. Mm -hmm. And um, you'll see lo a lot more of that being un unveiled. Just recently, um, Donald Trump said that he was... Um, bringing in the Defiant Ones cryptocurrency, which is going to run through the X.com banking structure. And wow. that banking structure is going to be overseen by that military system that I was telling you about. 